Good day, good day, folks. Welcome to Pride's Mind Academy, where we bring brilliance to every lesson. In today's video, you're gonna look at another question, exam question under Euclidean geometry, grade eleven. Remember, Euclidean geometry, uh, that is assessed in grade eleven. It is also assessed in grade twelve plus the other theorems uh, in grade twelve that are added. But for now. This is for grade 11s, but also grade 12s can watch the video because this is also assessed on their paper. So now let's see. We are given in the diagram PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. This is very good. Remember, we can use properties of cyclic uh, quadrilateral like opposite angles of a cyclic quad are equal to 180. Exterior angle of a cyclic quad it is equal to the interior opposite angle. And um, yeah. Then QA intersect SR at <coughs> sorry QA intersect SR at point A QA QA intersect SR there all right <coughs> do not confuse the word intersect with bisect intersect means it touches like it touches but bisect means if I'm having like this it it uh, let's say yeah if i'm having this line bisect if this line bisects a it means it bisects a into two equal halves 20 20 all right bisect and intersect is not the same thing i i i hope that's clear so intersect means they it is a point of contact where they meet at point a then we are given that Angle SAQ, it is equal to 180, and angle AQR, it is 20. So we are given also in the diagram those, that information. So now cyclic quad, we know if this is our cyclic quad, therefore the property that says uh, opposite angles of a cyclic quad are equal to 180, this, and this, it is equal to 180, this, and this, it is equal to 180. But now, can you realize something that within our a cyclic quad we have a triangle here do you all agree this is a triangle but that triangle can also be extended and be done in exterior triangle again and we know if this is an exterior angle this angle it is equal to this plus this angle this angle here it is equal to rather a angle let me say a2 it is equal to angle Q2 plus angle R. You, I, I hope you are, you are following that. Yes, so I know this angle is going to be the sum of this and this. So it means this angle here, if, if you're going to need it, this angle here. Oh, goodness. This angle here is going to be a uh, hundred and eight minus a uh, one date hundred and eight minus twenty which is hundred and ten degrees so and also now if you have this angle here we know this angle and this angle are equal to hundred and eight so it means this angle here it is somewhere somehow seventy degrees and anything that they can okay this angle we know here it is how much it is if I do this it is equal to hundred and eight degrees so it means here it is 50 degrees you see yeah i think any information that you might give in uh you're gonna need it now let's see what uh, it is really required of us calculate using results uh, i will using giving reasons the size of p p the size of p all right i know p i get it from saying from saying this and this it is equal to 180 so it means the first thing that i need to do it is calculating the value of r the angle of r and i know the angle of r is going to be equal to this plus this it is equal to that so i'm going to say i'm going to say all right angle r it is equal to 130 minus 20 degrees which it is equal to a 110 degrees why am i saying that i'm gonna say exterior angle of a what of a of a triangle in this case it is exterior angle of a triangle because i said if this is my triangle here aqr and it is extended like this this angle is gonna be this plus this angle 
All right. Now that I know angle, angle R, I can say angle, angle, angle P, it is equal to 108 minus 110, which is 70 degrees. Why am I saying that? Opposite angles of a cyclic, cyclic quad. For max. Statement, sorry, statement, reason. Statement, reason. Or someone might say, or someone might say, all right, I can see this angle here. It is 108. So if I use angles in a straight line, so it's going to be 180, the sum. Okay. So, all right, if that's the case, it means this angle here should be 50 degrees. Now we should reason for that. Angle A1, it is equal to 50 degrees. Why? Supplementary angles or angles in a straight line. Okay. Then the second point is that, all right, this is my triangle. If this is my triangle, then uh, angle R is going to be equal to 108 minus 20 minus 50, which is 110. Why I'm going to say sum of angles in a, in a triangle. Now, now that I have angle R as 110, I can use angle P to say it is now 70 degrees. Why? Uh, opposite angles of a cyclic cyclic quad now this is also applicable but how i gonna mark this statement or reason statement or reason then this and this all right so but an easier way it is seeing that this is an exterior angle but it's fine if you if not see that it is an exterior angle you can also use this step here you won't get penalized thank you very much folks that's all for today until we meet on the next video